Here with women's lacrosse head coach Chris Edmundiris. Coach, thriller today. Can we get your overall thoughts on the game? Um, I am extremely proud of uh, our girls. Um, this this type of win is um, a real program changer for us, I think. Um, Bryant is an excellent team. They're physical. As soon as they stepped on the field today and we were watching them in warm-ups, my assistant coach said to me, he's like, wow, this is, this is an athletic D1 level team. And, and we knew that they had been having a, a fantastic season. Um, you know, really playing a solid, uh, you know, team oriented defense and putting putting some scores, uh, some scores or putting some big numbers up. And um, we knew we, were, we had a challenge ahead of us today. The girls knew that. They knew that um, it wasn't really going to be skill that was going to get us through today. It was going to be heart, hustle, and all the intangibles that we've been focusing on, um, the effort, the energy, and uh, execution was actually going to be a third. Um, but we were able to string all three of those things together and, and, and really put on um, quite a thrilling show here today. And uh, all of our leaders stepped up. Um, our goalie stepped up. All of our major contributors throughout the course of the season, they stepped up in big ways. They uh, made better decisions. They uh, made a lot of changes in the second half with trying to uh, get past um, a really good goalie and Bryant's goalie. And uh, overall, I'm just very, very proud of our, of our team. Now, in a game like this where you're grinding back and forth, what do you say to the team in the huddles and the timeouts that... Uh... <clears throat> Um, I just tell them, you know, it's this is why we play, right? It's there's there is no rest. There's no rest on game day. There's no rest when we're out there. So um, they need to leave the field as if they literally have nothing more to give. And if the game is over and they feel like they have a little bit more to give and they're not huffing and puffing, crawling off the field, then they didn't give enough. Um, and I think certainly going into um, you know the, the end of the second half and into overtime, they really took that seriously and they grinded and they worked hard and they they got after you know loose balls and you could tell how exhausted we were and we just got it done because we wanted it just a little bit more um, and I'm just so happy they were able to do that. Going into this game, you talked about playing the complete game with 60 minutes or in this case close to 63. Right. Um, do you think that the team took another step forward and then uh, how do you take this one and uh, prepare for your next game? Um, I mean, we absolutely took uh, another step forward as far as I'm concerned. I think this win is the best win we've had uh, this season, certainly um, the most complete game that we've played, um, a team where we were uh, tight all game. Um, you know, some of the other wins, we were tight, we were down, but then we went on some runs. We weren't able to put any runs together and string up a level of confidence. So we were always playing with somebody breathing down our necks. Um, you know, we traded some, some goals here and there, back and forth, and there was never a point in time where we felt comfortable in that game. So we, were, uh, we worked really hard to be um, comfortable in an uncomfortable situation, and uh, luckily it turned out in our favor towards the end. All right, Coach, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much.